Bonjour et bonsoir. Welcome back for another video, guys. So this one will be an update on this natural lock reattachment. I'm sure you guys have seen it on this channel. If you haven't, go watch it. So this is the day that we reattach his locks. His hair was super short. Um, disclaimer, we do not accept hair this short in the shop. This is my family member, so I can do I can do it that short for my family member who I'm going to see and I can keep an eye on things. So this was the finished product here. Um, there were little white specks on his locks. Those are paint. He's a painter. That's where the white specks come from. It's not lint or product buildup. Also, a lot of people on TikTok thought they were extensions. They are not extensions. These are his natural locks that he grew for, I believe it was six years at this point, six, seven years or something like that. And we reattached them. And this is about a few months later after the reattachment, showing you guys his roots, how much his roots have grown. He washes his hair regularly. Actually, after the attachment, he attached with it. he washed his hair within weeks of the reattachment. So this is me giving them a bit of a tug test to see if everything's still good. Everything is still good. So this is his first first wash in the shop to get a retwist and this was one on our walk-in Wednesdays. If you guys knew about our walk-in Wednesdays at the shop, we discontinued them because they were getting a little um, too busy, a little too against kind of the culture we want at the shop. We want a very, very, um, very smooth environment where it's not so hectic and it was getting, it was getting a little hectic and we didn't really like that. We might bring it back and control it a little bit more. We'll see. So this is on the walk-in Wednesday, as I said. Monica's in the back with her client. And I'm over here retwisting him, giving him a two-strand twist. As you can see, some, some of the locks I'll go through with the crochet needle just to reinforce it. As you can see, everything is still there. Nothing has fallen out. But I go back through and I reinforce it just to make sure, because his hair was so short to begin with, I want to make sure that I'm reinforcing them. That way, I don't wait for them to to thin or fall out I'm already I'm already on top of it because his hair was literally maybe one inch and a half when we reattached it and normally at the shop our here is another retwist being done by our stylist at the shop Silas V this is about six months five to six months after the initial reattachment as you can see his roots are looking good his roots are starting to mesh nicely with the natural locks that were reattached. As I said, we didn't add any hair. All of it was his natural length and the natural locks that were crocheted together, as you guys can go see in the attachment video. And the white specks on his hair are, is not lint or buildup. It is paint. As you guys can see, he's a painter. So that's where that comes from. Another question we get is how long does it take the, the hair to lock? Well, typically when you are reattaching natural locks or doing lock extensions or anything with the crochet it's supposed to be close to the root so there's really no time for the hair to lock maybe time for it to mesh and blend really well but it should be blended at the attachment um point and the new hair just grows and it's like you never cut your locks off as you guys know he's never used gel we still maintain the same way you guys can go in the description to find the links to the products and that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.